Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. And yes, I did it. It's a candle day haul. I was not going to do it. I was not going to do it. Okay, so let me explain. I'm still very good friends with my manager. I used to work for Bath & Body Works for a few years, and I loved it, hated it. Definitely not the career path that I wanted for the rest of my life, but have become really good friends with my former store manager, and she asked me if I wanted to help her work her big holidays. So Black Friday, Candle Day, etc., floor sets, things like that. And you know what? There's always a part of me that is going to still love Bath & Body Works. I grew up on Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works is just, you know, part of my life. And Candle Day is a huge event. So if you don't know Candle Day, have you been living under a rock? Candle Day is a candle exclusive weekend. Typically it was just a day. Since COVID, they do have two days now. So today, December 2nd, and tomorrow, December 3rd, all three wick candles are $9.95. Now, yes, you can use your coupons. There's 20% offs. There's 10 off 40s. You can combine coupons. You can do all sorts of fun stuff. Anyway, I was not going to buy any candles. I'm literally looking at my candle collection right here. I don't need any candles. And then a few customers were shopping and I was like, okay, I need that. Okay, I need that. Yeah, I need that. And I left with 14 candles and we know where that goes. So I wanted to film a haul for you guys now. So that way you have tonight and tomorrow to hear my thoughts and see if you wanna pick up any of these candles for yourself. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, I'm going to start with the four that I only picked up one each, and then the rest I got multiples of. So first, always flannel. Flannel is such a classic Bath & Body Works candle. I've talked about it before. I've been gravitating more towards like the more masculine fragrances in my bedroom. I've also been expanding like into my living room. I really enjoy the more masculine fragrances, and flannel is one I buy every year. I have one backup. I never want to be without flannel. It is beautiful. It is one of my favorites. And it's fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. It's just the perfect blend of citrus, a little spice, that masculine cologne fragrance. I love it. Always a classic. Always a staple. I love flannel. We'll continue to always buy it. And then peppermint sugar cookie. This is one a couple years ago when it came out. I was obsessed with this. I love it in the wallflower. I actually have it in my office at work. And the peppermint sugar cookie right now, love. And this is crushed peppermint, vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. And the lids on these guys this year are so fun. Oh, you can see yourself in the reflection. Yeah, I love the little star pattern. And this is so good. This reminds me of like the slice and bake sugar cookies that you just sprinkled just a tiny bit of peppermint candy. If you don't love peppermint, I don't think that this would be too overwhelming for you, especially lit. It just creates this beautiful, comfy, cozy vibe in your house with the sugar cookie and the peppermint candy. It is beautiful. And can we talk about this label? It is so cute. I love the little living room scene on Christmas. So cute. So picked up one of those. Now the next two are new to me. This guy, Smoked Vanilla Whiskey. I was so impressed with this on cold. Dark Oak, Bourbon Reserve, and Smoked Vanilla. So again, leaning towards that more masculine, warm, cologne vibe, but the rum in here, or the bourbon, the alcohol note, really shines through. You can really pick up that like smokiness from the vanilla. If you like like vanilla birch, if you like that smoked vanilla, you're going to get the same vibe, but the alcohol note in here really shines through and you're going to get that more deep, dark, mysterious fragrance. I think this is going to be perfect for a very, very cold night in the bedroom. Really, really love that one. And then last, new to me in that I only got one of, and I hope I don't regret it, is one of the blends candles. They've been doing these like mashup blend candles lately for sales, where they take two very popular fragrances and blend them together. And this one is cinnamon spiced vanilla and hot cocoa and cream. You guys, 
Cinnamon Spice Vanilla, one of my favorites. I love Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. It used to be Cinnamon Sugar Donut, so a really powdery, sugary, not red hot cinnamon, more like a baked cinnamon seasoning on like a yeasty donut, and then blended with hot cocoa and cream, which I talked about in my last video. I don't love chocolate and wax or candles, but there's a few exceptions, and hot cocoa and cream is one of them. It is like a steaming, cozy, warm mug of hot chocolate. And honestly, it's so cold outside tonight. I really think after a long day of work that that would be like the perfect thing to drink a hot cocoa and light this up. Who knows? I might light it up now. I love this. And the blend together <clears throat> is just like a true, true hot chocolate with just a sprinkling of cinnamon. You're getting that warmth and that bakery note from the cinnamon spice vanilla mixed with the hot cocoa and cream. It is stunning, you guys. It is stunning. It's beautiful. I highly recommend it. And I love that it's like this like fun tie-dye packaging. Really, really like that one. So excited to pick that one up. Now this one, totally not on my radar. This was on my mom's list of candles to buy. And when I was smelling it with customers today, I had to buy two. This is sugared lemonade and blueberry sugar. Such a juicy, fun, bright label. I picked up two because I thought perfect for summer. These are gonna go into my candle closet for the summer. And this is sugared lemonade, which I love the sugared lemonade candle. It's truly like those amusement park lemonades where it's just a lot of water and sugar and they squeeze fresh lemon into it. Blueberry sugar is not a candle I really care for. It doesn't truly smell like blueberry to me. It smells more like a blueberry scented perfume. So I'm not really a fan of that. So <clears throat> the notes are sweet blueberries, fresh lemon juice and sugar crystals. There's something about this blend. The lemonade is so strong. It's so prominent. But then the blueberry sugar, I think the sugar from the blueberry sugar and the sugar from the sugar lemonade just combine well and round this fragrance out. This is such a hit this year. Everybody was picking this up and I'm like, this is perfect for that summer scent when it's really hot outside. You just want something really refreshing when you walk in the house. So I figured two of these to burn together just to get a really strong throw. I had to have it. I love this blend candle. This one, total, total winner. Next, I picked up two of is Wine Cellar. I feel like everybody and their mother is getting Wine Cellar. This is one that hasn't been around for a long time. So I was very surprised, the next two actually, that came back. And Wine Cellar is mulled apple, fresh fig, and cedarwood. I love fig and wax, and I love cedarwood and wax. So together, what's better than that? And this truly smells like a deep, dark Merlot wine. And the fig and the cedarwood rounds it out so perfectly together. I haven't had this candle in years. Oh my God. It is so perfect. It is so rich, so deep. This is going to be an awesome holiday candle. It, um, I have two parties that I'm hosting this year for a uh, holiday. And I think this one will be perfect to light like in the dining room when people are mingling and you can smell the wine and the warmth and the cedar wood, the fig. It's juicy. It's warm. It's deep. It's beautiful. And I love the packaging. Obsessed. Love the holographic label. Like, look at that. So fun. Love. So picked up two wine cellars. Now, I hope I don't regret only picking up two of these guys. I could not believe that they brought this back. French Baguette. Oh my god. Established 2012. I remember when this candle first came out and I was like, this is me in a candle. It's slow rising dough, crisp crust and a pat of butter. Guys, it smells, and I've said this before when I talk about gourmands, when you first smell a candle on cold, but when you light it, especially the yeasty bready notes, it's truly like the bread is being baked in the oven when you light it. This smells fine. It smells like bread dough. That's really what it smells like, like bread dough. But when you light a French baguette candle, it fills your home with the most cozy, comforting, freshly baked bread scent. 
I hope I don't regret two. I might have to go back to the mall and get a couple more. Maybe if I'm out and about tomorrow, but I love French Baguette. It is one of my favorites. Such a classic. So happy they brought it back. This was also flying off the shelves today, and I know why. It's a staple. It's so good. If you like those yeasty, crunchy, sweet, salty scents, you have to pick it up. And then last but not least, I picked up my favorite. I got four. Can you guess? Palo Santo. I can never not have a ton of Palo Santo in my collection. I think I have like five right here. It's Palo Santo Wood Warm Amber and Soft Musk. It's the best. It's woodsy. It's smoky. It's comforting. It's refreshing. It's soothing. It's everything that you want in a candle for comfort, for relaxation, for calming. Palo Santo. It's the way to go. Always is. When I saw this packaging too, I was obsessed. And for $10, I know I'll burn Palos all the time. I like pairing it with other fragrances. Like, I think Palo Santo and Wine Cellar would be so fun together. You could honestly pair Palo Santo with anything. So excited to have four more of those for my collection. So that was a super short, sweet, to the point video. I just wanted to share with you guys some candles that I picked up for Candle Day. Definitely could have gone a little bit crazier, but I tried to calm myself. The one blend candle that also was intriguing to me was the Waikiki Beach Coconut, which I do not like, and Cinnamon Stick, which I do not like. But it kind of gives me uh, like nostalgic tropical spice candle vibes, which I did really enjoy. But there's definitely a few that are on my radar I might pick up some more of, but I have an insane candle collection that I'm working on paring down. So not adding more to the collection, even though I did just add 14. They were justified. They were candles I really liked. And it's a national holiday now. So let me know if you guys shopped Candle Day. What candles did you pick up? And leave them down below. I'd love to get a conversation started with you guys. I missed you so much. Happy to be back. Let's get talking about some candles. And did you shop today? Are you planning on shopping tomorrow? Let a boy know. I'll talk to you guys later. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world. You matter. And I love you all so much. Bye, guys.